Hey guys, welcome to TechDoozy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a free website using iWeb and Dropbox. So first go to Dropbox and sign up if you don't already have an account and download Dropbox. I'm not going to download Dropbox in this video because I already downloaded it and it's already running. <clears throat> okay, so once you have it downloaded, open up uh, iWeb and make your website however you want it. As you can see, iWeb's very easy to customize whatever you want. If you haven't used iWeb before, I'm sure it will be fun for you to try it out. I'm just moving stuff around, making some random website. Um, Okay, so once you have your website the way you want it, you want to go to Publish To on the site and choose Local Folder. Um, name your site. I'm just going to do test for this one. And then Location, choose Dropbox, Public, and then New Folder. And I'll name this test again. Uh, okay, so now you want to click Publish. <clears throat> and as you can see it's not published yet so nothing's in the folder so you want to go back to iWeb and click publish and once it's done publishing you go back to finder open up finder again and then go to Dropbox public test or whatever you named your folder and then index HTML, right click that and do Dropbox and then copy public link. And now you're going to go to your web browser and go to .tk.com, dot.tk. And once you get there, you can pick your free domain. So I'll just do test for techdoozy.com or just techdoozy. Okay, uh, click go. Once you have your domain that you like. And then copy and paste. Make sure not to do two HTTPs, but copy and paste uh, that public link and then choose your registration length and type in the CAPTCHA you can sign up or continue without signing up which is cool uh, if you sign up you can renew it as many times as you want um, for free and now this is it's uh, registered so now it's going to the website that we just made and that's it for today.